but you know when you'd like <laughs> I think I got it in my throat <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's Rain if you're not new here welcome back and if also if you're not new here you can see that my hair has been changed um it is blue half blue half black I didn't part it directly so there's more blue on this side than there is black but that's you know what that's fine I got it done professionally just so you know I didn't bleach my own head because I'm scared of doing that after I did it once I'm never doing it again it's scary today we are going to be doing a fun little video entitled I mean obviously you clicked on the video so you know what the title is but I'm gonna match my makeup to my hair I'm really excited about it <laughs> now it took me forever forever there's a long piece of hair right here it took me forever to actually like sit down and film this because I've had my hair like this for about two weeks now a week and a half how long have I had this hair everything's you know blending together at this point I really like the way that the blue turned out it looks so much better in the light though but the fact that it's showing up on camera at all it's perfect I have no idea what palettes I'm gonna be using um I just know that obviously when I do blue and black and I had a f idea of doing like one black eyebrow or one black eyebrow one blue eyebrow and then switching the eyes as well for the time being I'm going to clip my bangs out of the way because I ain't about to get all kinds of uh ah all kinds of uh yeah I ain't about to get all kinds of foundation up in my hairs, so. I'm gonna start with my e.l.f. hydrating primer, or like I usually do, put that all over. I have, wait no, this is a por poreless face primer, my bad. Um, I have already cleansed and moisturized my face this morning. And my skin has been doing really well because I've been focusing on my, on my skincare regimen. And if you want to see that in a video, I will gladly make that video. Um, I've changed it up a little bit, um, ordered a bunch of new things, and I really like... I mean, I am breaking out a little bit here and there. I'm not sure if it's from what I'm using or just stress and eating and all kinds of bad stuff. But <laughs> I'm going to be using my Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation as per usual. I'm not gonna try and use too much because lately it seems to have been like too thick. What? Ooh. I think somebody lost their dog. The people at Diagonal from me across the street, I think they lost their dog because they've been walking up and down the street. I saw a dog earlier, a little puppy but it was going on their grass, so I thought it went back home. But they're out, so them and my next door neighbor are out searching, I think. There's a cute little puppy too. Hopefully it's okay. Hopefully it didn't wander too far, cause I didn't, I saw him not that long ago. I wanted to help them out. I'm not sure where it went. It's actually our next door neighbor's dog. I thought it was their dog across the street and they're trying to search for it. Because it's like a tiny little, I don't even know what kind it is, but it's a tiny little golden puppy. So hopefully it didn't go too far. I hope. Sorry, I'm like spending, I'm going to spend the whole video like hoping that they got this dog. <laughs> Her husband next door just like rushed towards the woods, so I'm not sure. Because we're in like a suburb kind of area, so like right behind these houses across the street there's woods. And then there's like more houses in another neighborhood. Oh! <gasps> Yay! He got him. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! We're safe. I probably should have waited and done this a different day because I did just exfoliate my face with one of those, or dermaplane my face yesterday. And I know you're not, like, it's best to not do it the day after, but oh well. I'm going to use my concealer. I think I'm going to use the shape tape today. Just a little bit though. I don't want to do too much. I'm gonna bring you in. Hey. 
I'm just gonna use the skinnier side of my beauty blender. By the way, I don't think I've ever said this, but I wanna say this is the Real Techniques beauty blender. I got it from, um, I think I said, I think Walgreens. I think Walgreens. So I went out there to help them, like tell them that, you know, I saw the dog go across the street to their house. So that way they knew like to go in that direction, like maybe behind their house or something. And um, I told my grandparents, I was like, yeah, they don't like the woman who lives next door very much. And so I was like, yeah, she, her dog got out. My grandpa was just like, I was like, what the fuck? If you had a, an animal that got out, that wasn't an outdoor dog or an outdoor cat. And it was like, but wouldn't you want to like, that's just mean. I'm gonna use my It Bye Bye Pores um, just under my eyes. Ooh. With the shape tape, it tends to crease a lot more than if I use a different concealer, which I hate, but it is what it is. And then I'm gonna wipe the excess off with one of my brushes. I'm not sure if there is a lot of kickback to it um, or flashback, but I think it's kickback. I'm not sure what it's called. But you know when you'd like, <laughs> I think I got it in my throat. <coughs> so for my eyebrows, I'm gonna do one with my pomade and then the other with blue. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna switch them. So this side, since my hair is black on this side, I'm gonna do blue on this side. And since my hair is blue on this side, I'm gonna do black on this side or the natural color. Um, but my brows, hopefully I will remember that I'm only doing one brow because knowing my luck, I'll forget and I'll start doing both brows. I have to remind my sister to get me a tea. She's at work right now. And I really want a tea. I am gonna make this like darker than I usually do. Just to match my hair. And then for the blue side, um, I want to say my Juvia's Place palette has like a, a really pretty blue that might work. I did some swatches and I can't remember <laughs> which one went to which. We've got this, this color here, Gide, it's a little lighter blue. I could probably mix that with the blue from the Alyssa Edwards palette and get a good mixture of what I'm going for. Maybe you do the darker blue on the edge and then the lighter blue in the front. I had to turn my fan back on because it's hot as shit. Yeah, I might actually use this blue from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette first. Just to get a good outline of like where I want it to be. I didn't want to block out my brow and then draw it because I'm like terrible at drawing my brows. If I don't have like something to like, granted my brows are so dark that they probably show the, through the concealer anyways that enough for me to like trace over them but it's whatever. I actually like it this way more because this side isn't so bright that putting it over the dark hair would actually make it look more like the hair that's on my head. Or I could just go balls deep and bleach this one eyebrow. I'm trying to get it as thick as that side. Because that side's a little bit thicker. Okay, I'm gonna stop for now. If I decide to do more later, I will. All around me are familiar faces. I don't know what I want to do though. I don't know if I want to do like a full smoky eye on both sides or if I want to do like some graphic liner moment. I think the graphic liner might be cute. I mean, I don't have any like liner liner. I would just have to use eyeshadow, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the natural side first. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use black eyeliner, bring it out into a wing or like black eyeshadow, not black eyeliner, bring it out into a wing and then gradiate into a brown and bring the brown up into, up this way, and then put a little bit of black and brown eyeshadow in there and to diffuse it. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm gonna use the pencil side of my eyeliner just to get it dark enough. That is just not what's happening, it's not working. 
by the way i've been using this black beast down at the bottom now i'm going to use brown the back rolls from the same palette and drag that up this way I'm gonna drag that brown into the crease as well, just to give it some definition. And I'm gonna go back over with the black too. Ooh, bitch, that's so pretty. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I surprise myself sometimes. I'm trying to keep it concentrated towards the liner and then diffused as I get into the crease. Hopefully I can emulate the same thing on this side with the blue because I'm nervous. There's something right here on the corner of this goddamn mirror and it scares me every time because I think it's a bug. Oh my god. I'm gonna use my blending brush though to blend it a little bit more in the crease so it's not as stark. And I'm not gonna put anything on the lid, which is gonna be weird, but... You know what? I don't care. Because I'm going to like it. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of not wearing like too much. I actually like what it's doing here in this corner. Doing its own little thing in this corner right now. Leaving the middle open. Almost like it's like a dome. Kind of cut. <gasps> crease. I'm going to go back in with the liner brush. Put some more brown. I mean put some more black on that bottom. Look how elongated it looks my eye. It makes my eye look. Compared to this side, like, I can't even see because this eye is my bad eye, so it looks blurry right now, but. So for this eye, I think what I'm gonna do is go in with the blue that's in this palette, start that here, and then use the blue from the Juvia's Place palette which is the Jejide one right here, and bring that up. This side is always gonna look the best. It's gonna piss me off, but. Okay, now I'm going in with the blue from the Juvia's Place palette. And I'm gonna bring that up. Should I go sneeze? <laughs> oh god. No. I did not put any bit of foundation on the bottom of my nose. But yeah, you just keep bringing it up and in towards that. I bring it up probably around right above my pupil, maybe a little bit to the left or a little bit towards the nose. Um, and then that's when I use my blending brush and just blend it a little bit more over because I don't want it to be too stark, you know? I'm actually going to bring the blue in a little bit this way too because it's darker on this side. So I'm going to bring it right here. I'm just bring it up. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. I'm not mad at the way this looks though. I think it's cute. I look like a little blueberry. And I'm going to go back over it with, or back over the darker, with that darker blue. And I'm actually going to mix the blue from the um, Alyssa Edwards palette and the blue from the Taking Back to Brazil palette for that liner section, just to get it a little bit darker. Oh yeah, baby. And like I did with this side, I'm bringing the blue down into the inner corner as well. Because the more blue I bring up here, the more blue it can blend down into there and have it match more to this side. Because this side, it's dark brown here and then it's got a lighter brown on the inner corner just by dragging it in with the blending brush. It's not too noticeable, but it's there. There we go. I might make this my go-to look for both my eyes. Like, my go-to everyday look because... It's nice and it doesn't take, I mean, it's taking long on camera just because it's the first time I'm doing it, but 
I feel like if I were to do it off camera, just it wouldn't take that long. And it'd be a good like everyday look, but it'd also be a good, it'd be a good look to wear during the day, but it also is a good look to wear at night if I wanted to darken up a little bit more throw on a bigger pair of lashes or something that'd be good for like a nighttime look I'm not gonna put any more on the under side of my eyes um because i want to keep it somewhat minimal but for that i just used the take me back to brazil palette the juvia's place magic palette and the Alyssa edwards anastasia palette to do all of those i'll put everything that i'm using in the description as well as i usually do so i'm just gonna take my eyelash curler I'm going to be using my TARDIS um, collection this is center of attention and I like these because they've got like a mixture of black and brown synthetic hairs in them so I think it's really nice I am going to put mascara on while those while the glue dries so I can't believe I'm doing it. I'm holding the thing like this. They're literally sticking me in the eyeball, but it's fine. I'm just gonna film until the camera dies, so if it cuts me off mid-sentence, it's all good. But I'm gonna go in with the TARDIS Pro Glow. Actually, no. I'm gonna go in with my Lovecraft Beauty Bronzer, because I really like the way the bronzer works on my face, particularly. Sometimes the um, TARDIS one is a little bit too dark, um, but I'm gonna go in with the Cymbeline, which is the lightest color of the three, and put that right there and I'm only focusing on my cheeks and my under my jaw because my bangs are gonna be covering my forehead anyway so it won't really matter will it no then I'm gonna go in with my Madison Miller Ofra trio uh, blush 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 and highlighter trio I'm gonna use a blush right in the middle and use this brush that's been well loved it's a highlighting contour but i'm using it for the blush i'm gonna bring that blush up and i'm already a little bit red in the cheeks as i usually am but that's fine and i'll bring that up into the temples if i had an extra pair of lashes that i could just like cut i would probably have just put him on the edge but I don't have an extra pair that I am willing to cut at this point so you're just gonna have to deal with these big baby doll lashes so and by you I mean me because now I'm not liking the way they look but I don't want to take them off now so and then I'm gonna go in with the TARDIS Pro Glow and use the highlighter from that and I'm just going to use I'm gonna use this brush by Farah it's a cheeky end brush I like it because it doesn't make it look like overly weird like overly shiny I'm gonna keep my lips neutral for this but what I've been doing recently is just using lip liner and lip gloss um, first I'm gonna go in with my milk kush lip balm this one's in bubble thank you snitchery for putting a girl onto this there's a bee. There's a big ass bee. <laughs> oh my god. And by bee I mean wasp. Oh my god. That's fucking huge. <gasps> it's outside. So I don't know why I'm freaking out. But <sighs> but I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Color Rich Matte um, Lip Liner in 112. And I really need to uh, sharpen that bitch. Let me sharpen it first. <laughs> I broke it. Oh no. 
Anyways, after that, I'm using my very low Grande Cosmetics. It's a clear gloss. It looks pink, but that's only because I've been using it on colored lip stick. <laughs> Bitch, shut up. And I just put that in the middle. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, yes. This is the finished look. Oh my god, these bangs just do not want to stay anywhere. I personally think that you should always do your makeup to match your hair. See, look, one of my brows is blue. I don't even know what that is. That's because the bangs are covering it up. Oh. Oh. But yeah. I like the way it turned out. But I'm definitely going to incorporate this eye look all the time because I love the way it turned out so but anyways yeah if you like please like and subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload so if you guys want to see anything let me know what you want to see I might do that skincare video I'm not sure just let me know if you guys want to see that and yeah I might do more k-pop related videos on here I'm not sure um maybe like k-pop looks and stuff I mean, I've already done Chung Ha like a million times, so might as well do other people. Anyways, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!